Yes, it's just doing okay, son. it. Okay, son, wait. I, okay, so... We're going to fuck this pigeon. Of course, but did you see how it went automatically yeah. to that? This, um, this this was due to our choice. Okay, son, is it? Okay, son, about to escape into the great outdoors. I have something for you. It's... it's a little yes, thing. I remember. It's already been a year since we met, Okasan. I'm never sure we get along. Wait, that was you. All of this has been me. Go. So, please, here. I'll take it. Such beautiful beings. Uh, Okasan's thankful. Okasan likes you too, Tom. He immediately opens the package and begins to sort of devour its contents. Seeing him enjoying them makes me happy cool. too. Cool. All right, I think we got back on Okasan's good side. Yeah, I'm wondering if that was because we picked the racer blend. Or I think it was because of the race. I think it was, too. Finals are over. Jesus. Time to coast along until spring break. Wasn't it just the beginning of the semester, like, two well, minutes ago? it was the 2nd of February. It, well, now it's the 10th of, 12th of February. Or maybe it's the 2nd of December. <sighs> that, uh... <laughs> Is the track team doing anything during break? I should go ask. Did, uh, have I ever seen a comedian named Jim Jeffries? Yeah. Uh, he did a show. It was a really good show. It was called Legit, uh -huh. and uh, it was it was based around a skit where uh, he took a friend he had with muscular dystrophy to a brothel. Uh huh. Which I think was a real thing that happened. Like I think he did. That. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but I know it was a skit that he did at one point, and he made like a whole show based around it. And it was like him taking care of his cousin who had muscular dystrophy or something. Oh, okay, but. There was one where he's just like, oh, we gotta go to the baseball game. Because he's Australian. He's like, we gotta go to this baseball game. He's like really pumped about it. And he drags people along. And he spends the whole time just bitching about shit. And one of them was 9-11. <laughs> he's like, at the baseball game, he's like, you fucking Americans and you're 11-9. He's like, what the fuck is 11-9? It's 9-11. He's like, it's so fucking stupid. You do the fucking day, then month, then year. You go in ascending order. It's like... That makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> I just remember him bitching about it in the middle of a fucking uh, sports game. Everyone's like cheering and he's just like, Oh, for fuck's sake. Okasan? Oh? Are you in here? Oh? Ho, 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 There he is. He has a bag of dried beans and a canteen. Is he going hiking? What are you doing? I just see Okasan's preparing to depart on a great journey. Over spring break? Oh, no, Okasan's quit school and going. Oh, okay. And it's going on a quest. What? I know. Okasan, you can't do that. It was a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into the school in the first place. And bitch! You waste his bitch! You don't help a failure. Oh, Okasan, I'll be stopped. Okasan's going on a quest to seek the true pudding. Ah. What is the true pudding? <laughs> It's not what I think of a, as pudding, right? Pudding is an ambrosia of the gods, miracles and jiggling, court beetle form, treasure shining with the seven colors of the rainbow. This, uh... Miracles and jiggling. It's not boobs, is it? This isn't like some weird pervert pigeon, is it? No? Okay. Those who partake in its wobbling flesh will never experience sadness again. Cuckoo. Are you sure? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! The seven colors of the rainbow. I'm not sure I'd want to eat that. Those are my lucky charms. You're serious? You're leaving? The hawker son never goes back on his word. I'll go with him. Quit school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with you. Oh, cool. That made the quest will be morally dangerous. I don't care. If the true pudding really exists, I want to find it with you. Cool. Hawker knows your baby well, Tom. You will not be an impotent. So you take me with you? Cool. Very well, birds of a feather must flock together after all. You have Yay! no feathers. Let's go. Yay! Until we catch the end of the rainbow. And so our great quest began. Are we just done with school now? We ran for years uh... across fields, forests, and mountains, searching for, searching ever onward. And now we stand in the ancient, unexplored ruins of pudding. Cool. 
The chest must clear the pudding itself. Hope Orcus not up the lid, Tom. So this is the end? Ha! Is this the end of the game? I hope not. Ah, it's bright! Oh, ice! Ice! Ice gonna eat the pudding. Ice gonna eat the... Question mark. There's nothing inside? A fake? What should we do, Okasan? I guess this... Okasan? Clad in feathers of the purest white, his golden pudding steed shining like the sun itself. Uh... At last he returns to his lost home, guiding his pigeons to the pure promised land. What's wrong, Okasan? Why are you talking... I am no longer the one called Okosan. I am now Pudi, Lord of the Pudding. Lord Pudi. Oh, God. Okosan was but my avatar on this mortal plane. I am now complete once more. Okosan, what are you? I am grateful to you, fair one. I have at least achieved my goal. I am the bringer of Tulu Pudding. I shall bring about a world of pudding. What is this pudding you're talking about? Come on, tell me. Pudding's hope, it is the future. I shall now become the very concept of pudding itself. Gelatin? Jigga, 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 jigga. That, that, that's not Newtonian. Jigga, jigga. I have enjoyed our travels together. However, you must live on and forget me. That is life. If you can fulfill the concept of pudding, I shall be satisfied. I shall not live or die. I shall be the concept of ideal pudding, never in wax or wane. This reminds me of Poilet Magic. <laughs> there shall be no regret. How about Tom? Okasan! And so the world was engulfed in pudding. According to the fundamental principles of Okasan's new universe, every living being carries pudding in its This heart. is literally a Poil Magi reference. Is it really? That happened. <clears throat> Madoka rewrote the universe according to one principle. And oh. Okasan has been making anime references this whole time. Huh. Did we seriously just beat the game? No. No! no! <laughs> Brian the Pigeon is photo stock. Dude, no! Come on! You, you can't leave me with, like... You can't show me the end of the world. Did we fucking win? I don't think there's a win in a dating sim. Yeah, there is. It's getting with any guy. So the guy we were... The guy we were gonna date... Fuck. We're gonna fuck that pigeon. We were gonna fuck that pigeon. Turned Back out to alley be a style. God. We got him to demigod. De God, just God, who rewrote the universe. Did we win? We didn't get with our guy. Uh, 2011 of Pudding Odyssey. Notice how many endings there are there. Um, at least seven. At least seven. Um. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? A fucking course. The fuck? Good job. You break you the game? It. You picked the ending you weren't supposed to pick first. Now you must suffer. What the fuck? Huh. Well then. Uh. I, I guess. Finale? Question mark? Yeah. Okay, I mean... That was weird. That was weird. Huh. All right, well, fuck it. High five. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulate. It's been a good one. All right, let's, you know, hand, uh, all right, been good. Yeah, this is not a handshake. Whatever. <laughs> nope, nope. That great. was more like what I would assume, like, cooperative masturbation would be like. Like, hold on, hold on. But, like, in between. All right. So, like, you know, like. Like, like that? Yeah. Just like... Oh, what? <laughs> wow i'm innovative i know you are like okay so for those listening we like had okay so instead of a handshake all right 
we, we went to like a uh, like what you would move. Okay, like if you've ever done a high five that looks cool, like thing, like a little handshake, like like, cool. the, like the gangster, like you come up and you're like you're like Yo, oh bro, yeah yeah, and you slap one. at the thumbs, and then you like pull together and you right, grab right, each right. other by the knuckles and all that, and then you yeah. have a thumb, thumb more. more. All um, right, so we did that, right? Right. And then Nathan proposed masturbation, so I came back into this position here, uh, and then we we we, we well, uh, okay we tucked our thumbs under each other's pointer fingers under the index and if you have someone sitting next to you do that and it i mean forms... i think you could no you probably can't do it at no, home. i don't think you can i think it's no, a two-person like, job yeah and then it, it forms, forms like a perfect like hole for masturbating for cooperative yeah. masturbation dude that's crazy and what happens if we put our fingers here that doesn't work i mean like a maybe weird like i don't maybe, know maybe like if like we'll I have to do like... some independent research on this one all right <laughs> guys we'll see you later <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to do anything else with this game yet. Or with but, this uh, cooperative masturbation Or technique. I'm going to call it the Chinese finger trap. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I invented that.